If you're looking to buy your first mechanical keyboard, probably the most confusing part of getting started is figuring out which mechanical switch you want to go with. So today we're going to take a look at the different mechanical switches that are most popular today, and we will explain the differences of each. What you're looking at here is a mechanical switch tester. Uh, you can find something like this on Amazon or from MassDrop, and we'll have links in the description. Uh, this is a pretty cheap way to figure out what switch type fits your typing style best without having to invest a hundred bucks or more into a mechanical keyboard. Um, usually you can find these for around 15 to 20 bucks. So let's start out with the Cherry MX Red switch. It's this top one here. Cherry MX Red is a light linear mechanical switch. Uh, the way that we measure the stiffness of mechanical switches is using centinewtons. The Cherry MX Red has an actuation force of 45 centinewtons, which is basically just telling you how much force is needed to press down on this switch to activate it. So 45 is the lowest switch that we'll look at today, along with the Cherry MX Brown. But the... Cherry MX Red linear switch, so as I'm pressing this down, I'm not getting any feedback or a tactile response from the switch until it bottoms out, until it goes all the way down. And you can hear it's quiet, it's not a clicky switch. Uh, most people who like Cherry MX Reds either use them for gaming, because uh, you can kind of quickly tap and uh, get a quick response from the switch. Also, if you're looking into getting a quiet mechanical keyboard, uh, this might be your best bet because you don't have to press this down all the way. You don't have to do that for it to activate. Once you get used to the switch, you can kind of find the, the sweet spot, the actuation point. And you can type pretty quietly on red switches. So that's our first switch. Uh, let's go to the next linear switch in the Cherry MX line, and that is Cherry MX Black over here. Now Cherry MX Black is another linear switch. It's slightly stiffer than the red. So the red requires 45 CNs of force. The black requires 60. So sounds pretty much the same. The only difference is this is taking more force to press down. So if you try the Cherry MX Red and you just find that they're too light for you, then Cherry MX Black might be a good option. Cherry MX Black are kind of rare today. You're going to see a lot more Cherry MX Red. Um, not many manufacturers offer their keyboards in Cherry MX Black. And the next switch is this Cherry MX Gray. So Cherry MX grays can actually be linear or tactile. This one is linear, and it's even stiffer yet. It's the stiffest of the linear switches. This one takes 80 CNs of force, so 45, 60, 80. So this is a really stiff switch. I don't know if you'd really want a full keyboard full of them. Uh, your hands might get tired pretty quickly. I think some people like to use them for the space bar, specifically. Okay, moving on to the next Cherry MX mechanical switch type, we'll hop over to the browns. So, Cherry MX browns are the most popular mechanical switch type today. You can find Cherry MX brown offered in almost any mechanical keyboard. So, Cherry MX brown, again, like the red, it requires 45 CNs of force. But with the browns, unlike the reds, like I said, they're linear. You don't get any feedback when you're pressing it. With the browns, as I'm pressing this down, I can actually feel when the key activates before it bottoms out. Cherry MX browns are widely popular with mechanical keyboard users. Um, I would say most people probably start out with them, and then typically they'll find a different switch type that they like more. So it's a good starting point though. Moving on to the next tactile 
mechanical keyboard switch. We have the Cherry MX Clears. So I don't know if you can tell, this is a slightly different color. It's more translucent than the white over here. So don't confuse those. This is Cherry MX Clear. So with Cherry MX Clear, the actuation force required is 55 CNs. So we have 45, 55. I personally like the clears quite a bit more than the browns. Um, they just feel more lively to me. Okay, now let's move to the Cherry MX Blues. Cherry MX Blues are a clicky tactile switch. So like the browns, I can feel the actuation point when I'm pressing down on the switch. Unlike the browns, the blues have the clicky sound when the switch activates. So blues are a lot louder than the other switch types. If you're looking for a quiet mechanical keyboard, you definitely want to stay away from any of the clicky switches. Uh, the Cherry MX Blues have an actuation force of 50 CNs, so slightly more than the red and the browns. Next up we have the Cherry MX Greens, which are also a tactile and clicky switch. But as you may have guessed, they're slightly stiffer. They require 80 CNs of force to activate, so pretty much the same as the blue, just a stiffer switch. As you can hear, they're quite clicky as well. Now, hopping over to the last Cherry switch, we have Cherry MX White. Cherry MX White are a stiffer switch. Uh, they also require ADCNs of force. Uh, this has changed over the years. So if you're looking at an older keyboard that has Cherry MX Whites, it might be less force required. Cherry MX Whites are kind of a cross between the greens and the clears is what they kind of feel like. You can hear they have some sort of click to them, whereas the clears don't. But it's a lot softer than the greens. It's also less tactile. Now let's take a look at these last four switches. Uh, these last four switches are Greetech switches, so they're just basically Cherry MX clones made by a different company. Usually when companies clone the Cherry MX switches, they keep the color coding the same. So this blue is tactile and clicky. This red is light and linear. The brown's tactile, the black is stiff and linear. So I'm not really going to go through those again. You can look up. Sometimes these have different actuation forces than their Cherry MX partners. But these are more so if you want to compare one of the Cherry MX clones against an actual Cherry MX switch. There you have it, your guide to mechanical switches. To read more on this topic, you can check out GoMechanicalKeyboard.com or check out the links in the description. Thanks.